Hi, my name is Esley, and I'm a caricature artist, and I'm going to be showing you how I draw a caricature. Alright, so what I usually use is a pencil for a pre-sketch, if you have time to do that. Um, if you don't, if you're doing this live at a theme park, leave these, put this down as much as you can, don't use it too much. I kind of still put like a, um, a quick, uh, what do you call it, you know, like stick figure. So, I'm going to be drawing this kid. Well, I'll tell you about that in a second. But anyway, and then I also use a Marquette marker. Um, let's see, because it has a nice little nib at the end, and it's kind of a, you know, it kind of bends to your shape. Sometimes I use the Copic. It has a brush pen at one end, which is nice. And also on the other side, but you got to be careful because the brush will mess up if you do it wrong. Um, the other side's just a hard edge. I don't really like that side. Um, and then we have this, the chart pack. Um, and it's made by, I'm not sure who, but anyway, <laughs> chart pack marker. Has a cool looking edge there. So you could get thin, thin or thick marker uh, mark out of it. Alright, so let me just get to the drawing. Alright, so I'm going to draw this kid here. You can see him, see? Alright, he wants to be a tennis player, so I'm already drawing him. I was kind of sketching him out a little bit earlier. So he wants to be a tennis player. So I'm just, right now, I'm just kind of doing where I'm going to put his body in the tennis thing and his, uh, what do you call it? The ball, his legs, his feet. The ground, background, and all that. Alright. Okay, so let's draw him up. Let me see so you can see him. I'll try to get in as much as possible so you can see. Alright, so let me draw him. I'm going to draw his left eye first. So let's go in there. I always do the left because I'm right handed. If you're left handed, you want to start with your, you know, the, op the opposing side. <laughs> I don't know why that is. It just works out better that way. Alright, so let me get his eyes. He's got nice dark eyelashes. So I'm going to enhance that a bit. And then, let's get his nose next. And you, you just do this. He's a kid, so you don't want to do too much, too many lines here. Just do it very gently, light lines. Alright, and then let's get his smiley face here. Good smile. You can usually talk to your guest if you are drawing this live. Right here, I can only talk to you, so. Okay, let's get his teeth. And. Smile. Alright, and then let me get his lips. You don't want to draw him too, too many lips, or I mean, his lips too prominent because he's a boy. Unless he has girly lips, but usually they don't. And they won't like the caricature if you do that. <laughs> Let's get his chin. Alright, so... He's got a small chin. Most kids do anyway, so... They're almost all about the same. And I'm going to start here. And then... I'm going to fix that later. I don't like the way that came out. <laughs> anyway, you'll see what I do. A little bit. And let's get that. His ears. Alright, so let's get his hair now. Or let's, let me get his eyebrows. Just so we can get that in. And then his eyelids. Can't forget those. Okay. It's got big eyebrows. A lot of hair. I'll fill it in later. Uh, what you want to do is get the shape first. Worry about filling everything in later. 
and then I'm going to get this um, hair line and this is trying to make it cartoony sometimes I end up making it too realistic I don't mean to do that but it's just the way I draw everybody has their own style alright okay let's get the back of his hair If you look at the other picture too, he has, you know, crazy, crazy hair like that. So I'm just going to go fuck wild with his hair a little bit. Try to do this so you can see better. Okay. That's about right for now. Alright, let me just do... Um, I'm going to try this other marker so you can see how it works just a little bit. Let's do his eyes. He has dark eyes, so I'm going to do that. After. I'll fill that in more later. Alright. There's the caricature guy. I always outline it one more time. Okay, let's get his hair. I, mean, I like using this brush pen for that. Transparent watercolors, okay. And I have filled it up with um, some extra colors. I actually had to make that color. All these, these are transparent watercolors. You need your water, your sponge. Here, make sure your sponge is clean. And then one of these type of brushes. Um, they're pretty good. Alright, so let's color him up. Mm -hmm. 